So we are in for a chest, if you can't tell already because I'm flat benching. Flat bench is back in now, maybe every kind of second chest session. So we're trying to keep it in a groove where my body won't forget about it because if I do it maybe every third, fourth session, my body will just forget about it and I'll come in and 140, it'll feel heavier and heavier and heavier. Where I'm now getting to the position where I'll do one plate, two plates, three plates and 140, it'll start to feel lighter. But really what this video is about today is what I buy when I go to the shop. So again, guys, I've had a lot of questions regarding obviously how much I spend on food, what I buy, where I buy my food, multiple questions, and that's all gonna be covered in today's video. So with this session, if you guys want to see this session in full, head over to the MBW um, website, member site, and you'll see absolutely everything that goes on in my full chest session, and especially within this flat bench session. Again, guys, I'll link the, the site in the description box below. You can shoot over there, join up, I mean, you'll, you'll find my daily log on there as well. You'll find all of the athletes' daily logs. I mean, it's a very informative place. You learn so much. But if you want to see this full session in a whole, shoot over there and you'll find everything out. You'll be able to see everything. Okay, we'll go 150. Nervous. Fuck. This is like one of them sets where I most definitely can't let nerves take over, but it's just because I've not been anywhere over five plates and so, uh, five plates, five plates. I've not been anywhere over um, three plates for a long period of time. Like by the kind of back end of prep, I don't even think I was benching consistently, purely just down to the fact that I was not really getting that much from it. And I was getting a lot more from free weighted exercises with pretty much a lot more control in the stability side of things. So again, things like dumbbells, I was taking a lot more from over a barbell, um, which was weird. I was still doing, don't get me wrong, I was still doing incline bar and that, but in terms of flat bench, wasn't really taking that much from it, but three plates and a five aside, I should be okay with. I just need to get my head on and, and really just not think about the fact that I've not done it in a long period of time because that's what can crush me and that's what can really dictate whether I do this or don't do it. And we need to take that on board that if you kind of think to yourself that you, you haven't done something for a long period of time, it's naturally going to feel hard regardless. It's naturally going to feel different because your body's not been used to it over a long period of time, but you just need to make sure that you're staying confident, you're staying you're, you're, you're staying within the set. I can see myself doing this before I'm even doing it. Um, and, and that's one thing that will drive the nerves away from you. And you need to make sure that you're, you're, you're staying on top of that because the second the nerves take over, the self-doubt comes in, the second the self-doubt comes in, you're fucked. Come on then, Kev. Yes. Boom. Ha. I was going to leave that a single and I was like, there's definitely got to be another one there. So now it's a case of turning that double into a five set. So that's what's next. It's actually only £339. We've got that daft club card thing. Jinx said I would barter me if I told her I was coming shopping and came home with a TV. That's so tempting. Right, I need to take myself away for that. I keep, I lose them all the time. They, they were literally like there last week and then they were there and then now they're here. These are, these are like the brand new thing that I've put in every single day. Turkey rashers. So the big thing about them as well is like, 
29 calories per slice. Obviously, I'm on my off season, but if you're dieting 29 calories per slice, I mean, you don't need to have the eight. I have the eight on bagels. However, if you're dieting, you could have like two, three, or four of them, and you could still be like within next to no calories. So, I mean, they are really good, and they're definitely a brand new one for me because I've never had them before, but they're an off season special now, so I'll keep them in. Some of these ultimate brisket and chuck burgers, but we're gonna need a couple of packets. We can see as much as these are relatively optimal, what you could say, obviously we've got to take on board, these are high in fat. However, there is only two in a packet, which they taste unbelievable, but I would normally get something like four in a pack and kind of just make that work. But because I am a big fan of these ones, we're going with these, but we've got to make sure that we get a couple of packets because I'm not just having like one burger. I think that would just send me over the edge. Look at it. This is the latest trend. In the 2022 bodybuilding industry, you're not a bodybuilder unless your cheat meal is sushi. Spicy prawn katsu rolls. It's six pound. <laughs> no chance, it's a no for me. No way, no way, Jose. Checking the good old dates, making sure there's no blood on it. That's the, to be fair, like I get, I get chicken breast mini fillets. I don't get chicken breast fillets because Usually whenever I buy chicken breast fillets, they're just covered in blood or just puts me off a of chicken. And every time I buy chicken breast fillets, sometimes you might find that there is a little bit extra carbs or fats in chicken breast mini fillets, but they're always clean. And that's what does it for me. And that's how I can eat this a lot more. Like when you turn it to the back, I always make sure there's like no blood or anything like that on it because it just gives me the ick. And I'm absolutely not eating anything that's got blood on it. Big boy bagels. Big boy bagels. Going in with the big boy bagels and the Warburton's ones that are already cut because whenever you look at, say for example, where even are they? I don't even know if there's, oh wait, there is New York ones. These are, these are literally a pain in the arse whenever you're trying to like slice them and then toast them. So, and whenever you toast New York bagels, they always go like crispy and hard and no nice. Whereas when you toast the Warburton's, um, ones that are already sliced, they're actually like, they go soft. And even although you're toasting them and they should be, toasty they're nice and soft when you put like cooked barbecue chicken on it which we need to go and get that's like perfect meal absolutely perfect i'm so glad they've got them and plus big boy bagels as well they're like 50 grams carbohydrates per bagel and um, so again that's a massive win especially for the off season when you're trying to kind of eat less volume of food but things that contain a little bit more carbohydrates that's what we're always looking for as well i don't want to be eating like really high volume foods that's got nothing in it because then my appetite will just go to shit barbecue chicken breast pieces so again i've actually started getting a like a bag because it works out way cheaper like it's four pound 40 usually it's 315 for um 180 grams whereas it's four pound 40 for 360 grams so essentially that's what six pound 30 for 360 grams or four pound 40 so that's a massive win so i will always get a pack of that however what i actually find this the stuff that's in the bags tastes a little bit different to the stuff that's in the packets so I do always make sure that I pick a couple of packets up at the same time. But what you've got to take on board as well is £2.65. It's not 3 15 so that's the only reason I'm buying a couple of packets. Because if it was 3 15 I would patch it. However, it's £2.65 because, you know, I've got my club card. And that's how you save money in here. I'm going in with the white potato first. One thing I always make sure whenever I get white potato is they're relatively big because... As you guys know, I peel all my potatoes as well. So again, there's nothing worse when you're standing having to peel like 10 potatoes just for like 400 grams. Whereas if you get big ones, then you're peeling like one or two and then meal sorted. Again, we're always going for the biggest ones. I now need greens because you know I'm healthy and I need to take care of my digestive system. We get the ones that's already chopped. I could easily go for something like that and just peel it off myself, but that is literally the only part of broccoli that I eat. So once I found out that we could come in and just pretty much get the broccoli florets, is that what they're called, florets? Um, the heeds of the trees, that's um, the only part that I eat. So that's what we need. We'll just, I'll just put this in. So going with basmati rice, um, again, don't get me wrong, I'm, I am a fan of jasmine rice, however, I've always just kind of stuck to what I know. I've always stuck to basmati rice and that's always been the one that's worked for me. Um, and it digests very well for me, so I've not got an issue with that. And on top of that, what we've got to take on board here is, is 
35 pence per packet. 35 pence per 250 grams. So again, guys, there's still cheaper ways of like finding your carbohydrates and getting your carbohydrates in. However, you've got to take on board that 35 pence per 250 grams of cooked rice. Obviously, again, it's cooked rice, but for time efficiency and for ease, there's a lot of people that can't stand at a pot and cook rice. And there's a lot of people that maybe can't afford a rice cooker, but you will be able to afford a 35 pence packet of basmati rice. So again, there's no excuses when it comes to something like that. Two minutes and that's your carbohydrate source sorted. So I've always went with that, especially when we found them in here, because I always stuck to Uncle Ben's whenever I would have rice. I don't have rice that often, more or less potato all the time but I always stuck to Uncle Ben's and then it went up to like 150 a packet where I can get literally four packets of rice for one packet of Uncle Ben's, so it's a no-brainer. Blueberry wheat. The fact they've got blueberry in them just puts me off them already. Oh wait, there's actually a chocolate version. There's the chocolate version there. See, that looks way more appetizing. That looks more appetizing to me. That looks more appetizing to Benbury and that's why we're not friends. They just give me like a representation of health and Something like Frosties, like, can we just take on board, like, that is exactly what I would go to. We've got Frosties at home, so I don't need to pick these up. They actually remind me of Bran Flakes. Like, they just look really, they look really, like, dry. And I don't even think milk would do the job for them. So, Ben Bray, blueberry wheat. It's a no from me. However, one thing I have tried, one thing I have tried lately, when I went into off-season, I wasn't gonna try them because I wasn't a fan of Rice Krispies because again, they were too plain. However, I was told that these don't taste like Rice Krispies and I ended up biting the bullet. I got them and they're genuinely phenomenal. Rice Krispies, multi-grain shapes. If you've not tried them and you've got to take on board the um, actual macronutrient intake in these as well, they're essentially just Rice Krispies. So there's pretty much nothing in them. Um, I've not actually tried, I've not tried these ones yet. Um, strawberry and apple, again, Anything that's shouting strawberry at apple um, to me in cereal, it's just a no-go. It's just, it's just not doing it for me. Crunchy Nut Bites, anybody that does remember, um, will remember cho chocolate pillows from Morrison's, the original, the actual original chocolate pillows that got discontinued because they had too much sugar in them. The unfortunate part is, I can never find any that are the same. However, after prep this year, when I was trying out different cereals, I got these crunchy nut bites, honey and nut flavor. Don't get me wrong, they're not the, they're not ideal at all um, on the macronutrient front because they just contain a lot of fat. They're very calorific. You're probably going to get about 20 pillows, and you're talking maybe two or three hundred calories easy. But we're going to get them anyway. I'm in my off season. That's something I also have to remember that with me being in my off season, um, there's a lot of food that's going in. So I'm not going to hold back because I'm like, oh my god, the macronutrient intake's not the most optimal thing on the planet. I am in my off season. These will fit into my macros for the day. My calories are quite high already. Um, so that's something I do have to remember that I can get away with things like this. I'm just not gonna be slamming the full box, but we'll soon find out. The goat, the greatest, the greatest. I genuinely don't know why people would pick Coca Pops over Coca Pops rocks. Like these are different gravy altogether. And again, they've got the little pillows in them as well. Um, but honestly, incredible. Like. <laughs> Coca Pop rocks. See, when I moved here, funny story, whenever I moved here, this was like the only place that actually sold them because there's so many places that, that just somehow don't entertain the fact that they should have Coca Pop rocks in their, in their shop. And when I found out that Tesco got them, I was like, mm, £2.50 for 350 grams. The hard part about that is I would usually have around 250 grams per serving. So, I mean, you're talking three quarters of a box per serving. They're just, it's like 70 30 in. The 30% are how expensive they are, 70% and how good they taste. So I end up just getting them all the time. But again, guys, what you've got to take on board as well is obviously I'm not doing this shop on a budget or anything like that. This is just my normal kind of go-to and what I prefer. Um, there's so many other options that you can go for to save a lot of money. So again, don't be taking this as like a shop on a budget and what you might or might not be able to afford. Taking me back maybe four or five years, I wouldn't have been able to buy what I'm buying in here today. So again, you've got to just remember that as well. I've kind of worked to be in the position to be able to come in here and get whatever I want, which I'm very grateful for. Um, however, I'm just going over everything that I would normally get in my shopping. Um, so you guys can get an insight into seeing what my kind of off-season diet consists of and how much variety is in it because of how much you know variety isn't an option within my prep. So it's just going over all of that. Again, guys, Quaker Oats, the only oats brand that I will actually go for. Um, I can't say I've tried any other oat brands, but things like Scott Oats and that, I don't really, they don't jump out at me that much. Whereas I've always went with Quaker Oats throughout preps, way back into like 2016, 2017 when I dieted. So 
rolled oats, Quaker rolled oats, they're always the one that goes in. Um, and again, nice and plain, nice and basic. One thing I did make, I made a massive mistake and got jumbo rolled oats. Like, look at the size of them. They're literally like almond flakes. Like, they're, they're like, oh, I got them. And I was like, at the start of prep, and I was like, how can I not eat these? And it was simply because they were just thick as fuck and they were disgusting. So, Quaker rolled oats, the original ones, they're absolutely perfect. See, again, that's really tempting because they are on offer as well. These strawberry yogurt dual crunches from Belvitas, again, they're very calorific, don't get me wrong. They might not be the most optimal thing if you are dieting. However, if you are in your off season, again, these taste incredible. Anything really from Belvita is really good. Um, the only hard part about it all is they're not calorific at all in terms of beneficial towards a calorie deficit. And the macronutrient intakes average, but they do contain a little bit of fats, which you might be wanting to keep down um, but we will go with these purely just down to the fact that they are on offer and they're normally 250 and they're essentially like half price. So, I mean, we're going to have to go with them. But I do need squares. Marshmallow square bars. The only square bars that should ever be entertained by any sort of bodybuilder. Chocolate square bars are just a bit too much. I really feel that they get to my digestive system a little bit more. And the caramel and chocolate, I think they are more so too like a treat. Um, don't get me wrong, like marshmallow square bars, they're... they're not the healthiest thing on the planet. However, something like a caramel and chocolate biscuit is its just a bit too much like a treat for me. And if I was having something like that and then went out for an off plan, I wouldn't really enjoy the off plan as much because I would be getting too much. My taste buds would be getting too much from something like a chocolate and caramel square bar. So that's why we don't go for them. And um, don't get me wrong, Sarah really likes them. I think I should probably buy her a packet. Should I get her a packet? Right, okay. So just to confirm, these aren't for me but because I'm like a really nice boyfriend in that and I'm thoughtful, um, we'll get her a packet of caramel and chocolate square bars, but. Oh, right. The most boring thing of the whole trip, but now we need to get some ice cream. Oh, it's actually an offer as well. Uh, I believe it's called Opal Brothers Caramel Cookie. Anything by these Opal Brothers is genuinely second to none in terms of like, um, and like healthy ice cream because I mean you've got 84 calories per 100 mil there's around I think 475 mil in here so 279 grams I believe there's around something like 350 calories per the whole tub again guys that's something you have to take on board that as much as obviously it's my off season I'm not at the position yet where I'm just tanning Ben and Jerry's tubs like left right and center because we've got to take on board there like 1600 calories and I would only entertain something like that if I was gonna do a food challenge or something. But something like that, like that's easily fitted into your macros. It is only containing around 15 um, or 350 calories for the full day, which is perfect. And I know that I was a big fan of Halo Top, but this Opal Brothers Caramel Cookie absolutely trumps Halo Top. And especially, um, I've had the, I believe it's double salted caramel. That's another flavor I've had. And again, trumps um, Halo Top salted caramel, which is just too much and again it's on offer like halo tops like five pound 25 that oprah brothers is three pounds but you need to make sure you've got your club card this is one thing i want you to actually notice whenever this goes through the till or if i show you the receipt anyway how much i'm going to save on the normal prices of these because i've got a club card like genuinely it's going to save a, a nice bit of money and every time we come in here we're always using the club card we use it for everything and you build up points as well where you then essentially get free money at the end of it. When you come back in, you can get like a full shot for free. So, I mean, why would you not do that? And especially if you are on a budget, things like that, like loyalty cards and, and shops and anywhere really where, where you go, like things to build up points to get things for free is how you're going to save money. And like, I've went through a long time of doing it and I'm still doing it. Like regardless of me being able to pick up these, these popular brands and dearer brands, I mean, we're still trying to save at the end of the day. So you've got to remember that because I'm shopping maybe three, four times a week. And again, I'm always, I'm not really one to do a weekly shop because I, I always need something else. So I, I like to make sure that I've got things for three, four days and then I can come back, get things three, four days again. But it's all just about saving. That's one thing. I'm not coming in here and spending like thousands. So Ultra Rosa, four packs. Told you they started selling. They actually sell the Relentless. Have you tried that? Mate, that, that's actually, a lot of people don't rate it, but I actually think it's quite nice. It, ju it does just look like a kind of poverty can though, like next to monsters. Like if you were obviously, say for example, that's like a sumo deadlift and that's like a conventional deadlift. So you would always kind of sway towards the conventional deadlift. So that's why we always go for the monster. But 
Ultra Rosa, this is the, right now, this is probably the one that's going for me the most. Um, I got sick of the watermelon one because I drank too much of it. The green is all right, but only on an occasion. Sarah really likes the white one, but I just think the white's just too, see, you like the white? Oh, no, you just typical white boy like that is, that just needs to go at the back. The gold came out and it was like, yeah, that's massive the fact the golds came out, but it never really tasted that nice. I'm not really a fan. So probably just gonna have to go for the pink. You like the pink? You want a four pack? Easy as that. Easy as that. Oh, actually, I'm really glad you brought me here because, because at the end of the day, I'm still a bodybuilder and I don't want to be drinking full fat Coke. This is why I don't come shopping myself because I don't really know where half of the stuff is. These are like the only ones that I get and I don't want to get like a block where you've got to like slice up and that's, I'm all about being efficient. I'm all about like making sure that I can have a meal created in a short space of time as possible because I've not got like, that's a lie, I've got time to cook, but I'm still all about efficient. And on top of that, from a coaching perspective as well, whenever people do come to me and say, I've not got time to cook, there's so many ways you can create such nutritionally dense meals with like next to no time. Like you don't need you don't you don't need to be spending hours every single day cooking. That's that's something that I 110% believe in. And if anybody does think that, then they probably sumo deadlift. So right, that's us anyway. Here's where the magic happens. 80 pounds and 86 pence. Don't forget to scan or tap your club card. Don't you worry, I will <laughs> not forget. Club card accepted. Here, six pound off. Listen, six pounds, six pounds at the end of the day. And again, you got to think that that's now 75 pounds worth of points that are going to add up. So like they're, they're going to accumulate up to like quite a lot by the end. And what we're tending to do is we're getting to the end of the year, saving it all up and then pretty much just going to put it towards a shop, like potentially for Christmas or something like that. So it just saves so much. Like it saves so, so, so much. Right. Chuck that up there. Finito. Sorted. That is horrendous parking, by the way. That is so bad. <sighs> to be fair, that's never been my strong point. So guys, shopping wrapped up. As you've seen pretty much everything, I'm not going to go over it all. I'm not going to get everything out and separate it up. You've seen everything whenever we got it. But today's shopping came to a total of £75. So like I said to you, we saved £6 as a whole um, in terms of that club card um, within Tesco. Obviously, like I said, lots of different places have loyalty cards, etc. So you can save so much money on your shopping. And again, if you are shopping on a budget, it does mean that sometimes you can get real branded stuff and actually save a lot of money at the same time. But again, that was of course successful today. Sometimes I do go in and I sometimes struggle to pick up things that I do want, but today managed to get absolutely everything. So that is me pretty much stocked up for around maybe the next four or five days. And then what I'll do is I'll pretty much go over that again and bag absolutely everything again. As you would have seen things like the ice cream and that, I'm not having that every single day. However, if I do go through a phase where I want it, it is easy enough to incorporate it into my macros. So again, I've got a bit of variety throughout my diet now. It's not just chicken and potato and oats. I'm having a lot more variety within it. But again, guys, successful day as well. As you can see, obviously I've got my post-workout in here in the oven. I've got some lovely chicken goujons and I've got some nice little minions as well in there, of course, because you know it's optimal and that. That's a joke, by the way. Please do not take that serious. Um, that is the difference between myself and Sarah. I go away and get some cooked chicken and I come back and she's got ah, nothing. But it's what it is. Successful day, guys. Like I said, of course, I hope you were able to take something from this. Um, I tried to keep it as much, um, I tried to provide as much value as possible towards the, the food side of things as well. And of course, the um, the shopping side, because I know that it is something that people do actually struggle with. And um, whenever going over things or what's the best thing to buy, maybe what's the nicest tasting, what's the cheapest, just what's macro friendly, what's not macro friendly, there's lots. But apart from that guys, like I said, I do hope that of course you were able to take something from it. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to drop the video a like for me, subscribe to the channel if you are new and I'll see you all in the next video.